Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on the 3D Public Survey solution. 3D Public Survey can be used to engage with the public to solicit structured feedback about planned developments in the community. Now first we need to create a survey responses layer that will hold the survey answers. To do this, we run the Publish Survey Response Layer task. Enter a name for your response layer and browse to your survey configuration file. This file allows you to define the possible answers to your survey questions. And next, we're going to define the questions to our answers in the pop-up configuration of our layer. Now here we need to make sure that the question names in brackets are the same as in our configuration file. And then we're ready to publish the survey response layer to Portal for ArcGIS or ArcGIS Online. Drag the layer to the 2D layer group and then make sure that you set the layer to be editable on the configuration tab um, in the share web layer dialog. Enter a summary and enter tags. And then we're going to share the layer with everyone. Now, once the layer is published, we're going to have to add it to an existing web scene. And again, here we need to make sure that the web scene is also public. Now, once we've done that, we can go to the item. And here we're going to enter a summary text which will be used for the text to be displayed on the splash page of the application. And you should also enter a description, which will be used for the text to be displayed in the help pop-up box. And we're going to edit the thumbnail. And if you upload a full resolution image, it will be used as the backdrop when the application starts up. And then we can open the scene in the scene viewer. And the only thing we need to do is add the survey layer that we just published to the scene. So we browse for our layer, and then we add it to the scene. Then we can save the scene and we are ready to configure the public survey application. Now what we need to do is we need to copy the web scene ID that is in the URL, open the configuration.json file which is located in the JS folder of the application, and then enter the web scene ID, the portal URL, and the survey layer name. Now there are a lot of configuration options such as enabling social media, and for more information please have a read through the online documentation. Then we can fire up the app. Now here I am using a local web server, but you should talk to your system administrator about where to best host the application. Now since we didn't configure the social media, we can only sign in as a guest. The web scene loads, and on the right hand side, you will see the survey questions. Now questions marked with a star need to be answered before the user can continue to the next few location by hitting the next button. You can configure this by making the attribute field that holds the answers non-nullable in the survey configuration file. The view locations are slides that have been authored in the web scene. And once a user has gone through all the view location, they can finish or continue to add responses at viewpoint locations or any other location in the scene. Now, as we zoom out, we can see that the locations where the survey responses have been submitted, these locations show the number of responses at that location and are color coded according to the answers of one of the survey questions. When you click on the locations, you get a pop up showing pie charts of the answers. And click on the arrows to go through the answers. You can also go back to the actual survey response location by clicking on the go to response location. This takes you to the view that the users saw when they made their responses. Click on see responses in the right bottom corner to see the individual responses that were made at this location. And when we're all done, click finish. And after a while, it starts looking like this. Thanks for watching. 